That was Brian Douglas, Calvin Gasdine at West Plattsburgh Legion Field. We're in the bottom of the third inning. We're picking up action here in game three. Or game four, excuse me. The best of five series. Atkinson's sheet metal, I guess, versus Dragoon's farm equipment. Tom Babby on the pitching rubber for Dragoons. At the plate now is Craig Wells. Pops up to Pilate, and we have two down. Score is 0 0. Underneath the uh, Parker, next to the Parker's sign, and above the Dragoon sign, we see it's two outs here in the bottom half of the third. And Paul Ashline at the plate. Two outs, nobody on. This is a game four, as you said, and Dragoons could wrap it up with a victory here in this ball game. Umpires are Alan Rock and Donnie Schutz. Karate over to Brunel at first, and it's three up, three down inning. We're going to the fourth here on Viewer Supported Home Down Cable. Shane Parade is at the plate to lead off the Dragoons half of the fourth inning. Safe at first. And that'll bring up Tom Babby. And the pitch to Babby is ball. Arriving a little late, we're busy uh, trading vehicles at uh, Riley Ford, so Ran a little late. But we're here now, and our main event this evening will be the next game, because this we're only going to get a half of this one, so we're not going to show this without showing the next one. That's dropped in left field, and Babby will be on. It was first and second. And this will bring up Dan Dragoon. Takes a strike. Dragoon pops it up. Could be one of those in-betweeners. It's going to drop in. Safe on a close one. Babby just barely able there. He should have uh, taken just a little bit bigger lead there. He had to hold up. I'm afraid of being double up, but uh, the uh, distance for a throw to second is a lot less than the distance to a throw for first if he had to get back there. Here's uh, Mark Dragoon. He, he's going to make a sacrifice fly. He's going to score the first run of the game as Shane Parate scores. The throw gets away. Babby will advance to third. And Mark Dragoon will end up, excuse me, Dan Dragoon will end up at second base. So that puts a number on the scoreboard. That's 1 0 here in the fourth inning. Matt Seguin. Might just be driving in two. Here's a throw. Two runs score. And see went on with the two ribby single. The Marshalls in town. Not Matt Dillon, it's Marshall Zins. It's it to second, to short, excuse me, throw to first. It's going to be safe as the ball is dropped. Would have been close, would have been close. Well, it's two down. Dragoons leading now 3 0. And Casey Laterno stepping in. September 10th, oh, excuse me, September 11th, excuse me. Date we should not forget. September 11th, 2009. Spent the morning and early afternoon hours in. in uh, Crab, Island, Crab Island. Just remembered I was supposed to bring John Rock a flag here to the Legion tonight that's sitting in my other car. So. I spent the hours up to about one o'clock at uh, 
at Crab Island. Tomorrow will be the Battle of Plattsburgh Parade plus Fort Montgomery Days. That's hit to left. That should end the half inning. It does. 3 0 for Dragoons as we head to the bottom of the fourth. We're halfway through this one. Tony Gay swings at the first offering, hits it to left field. Dragoon is there. We have one down to start the bottom half of the fourth. Top of the order now, Jeremy Bissonette. He pops it up. Karate is there. Two down. Two pitches, two outs. David Imhoff to Parate. Brunel's foot came off the bag. He was too far away from first. He was too far away from first. He was playing deep. And by the time he got there, uh, he didn't, didn't have a target there for Parate. So Imhoff will reach and Jim Jennings will be the batter. Strike one. Look out, fellas. Maternal grabs. Nothing across. After four full, it's three nothing. Dragoons leading Atkinson's. Top of the fifth inning now, we've got uh, Jim Jubert at the plate. Now strike one. Hits it to short. Throw to first will be in time, one down. Now TJ Brunel. Hit to left field and looks like he's going to drift out of play. Strike one. Two down. Well, uh, Travis Allen wears a nice bright orange dragon shirt. Hits it to left center and a quick one, two, three inning after four and a half going to the bottom of the fifth. Three nothing dragoons leading in Adirondack Slow Pitch League B Division playoffs. In the bottom half of the fifth, it's going to be Dan Boris at the plate. It's a sharp play through the left side. Uh, Atkinson's scrap metal has a base runner. Uh, here's Randy Whalen. It's it to Zins. This is DJ Loveless. No relation to Michael Dunn. And everyone who is saying, what the heck is a Michael Dunn? It's an RBI for Loveless. Michael Dunn played Dr. Loveless in the Wild, Wild West. This Loveless has driven in the first run of the game for Atkinson's. So it's a 3-1 ball game. The, the potential tying run is at the plate. It's Myron Ashline. Babby, set, delivers. Two balls, no strikes. <laughs> this just might be my last trip here to to the uh, West Blasburg Legion Field this year. Two balls, two strikes. For some reason, there's no uh, boys uh, soccer games. Nice catch there by Dragoon. Uh, it's two down. No boys soccer games this evening, so uh, we had a free evening. 
but there are very few gaps in the coming weeks. This is Brian Douglas. Hits it to third. Throw to first going to be wide. You got him with a tag. Good tag by Brunel. Don Schutz asked Alan Rock, and Alan Rock said, yep, I saw it. We're going to go to the sixth inning. It's 3-1 in favor of Dragoons. Jim Brunel Jr. is up there. Leading off the top half of the sixth. His team up 3-1. Dragoons farm equipment looking to wrap up this first round series against Atkinson Scrap Metal. Whoop. Let's get back. And he does. Oh, bring up shortstop Shane Parate. Pitch from Wells. Hit to Boris. One down. Now here's Tom Babby. That was ball one. He'll be safe at second. Two down. Dan Dragoon runs up on the first pitch. Hits it over the right center fielder's head. All the way to the fence. Drives in run number four. And he's in there with a stand-up triple. Nice poke to the opposite field for Dan Dragoon. He gets a congratulations from Coach Jim Brunel. And we got now Mark Dragoon. Come on, guys, get him out. Let's go. Looks like uh, Dylan Lajoy is been adopted by the uh, Dragoons team. <laughs> Dylan Lajoy and the Dragoons. Uh, Dugout. He's a member of the Big Earls team. So it's now 4 1 going to the bottom of the sixth. Come on, uh, pitcher Craig Wells at the plate. Chops a slow comeback with the Babby. In time at first, Brunel keeping contact with the bag. One down. Bottom of the sixth inning, Paul Ashline, the batter. He takes a pitch. Bobby delivers. 2 and all the count. Going to be near out of play area. Almost a great catch there by Brunel. Chopper to the left side. Brunel comes up, fires to Brunel. We got Jim to TJ. That's two down. And with that, Tony Gay steps in. High fly ball. Dragoon waving everybody off. He'll squeeze it. And after. Six full, we're going to the seventh. 4-1, Dragoons leads. Matt Seguin at the plate. He is leading off the top half of the seventh. With his team up 4-1. to one. Here's the pitch. Game four in the best of five. Dragoons win. It wraps up the series and then move on to the semifinals. Now well, Marshall Zins. And a strike. And a 2-1 pitch. Zins lines it. Bat hop. Over shortstop into left center and it's a base hit for Marshall's ends. 
And with that, Casey Letourneau rips off the sleeves of his shirt there. Wearing his muscle shirt. He came here with sleeves, and once he saw the camera, he ripped off the sleeves. Fly ball to left field. It's dropped. Drifted back a long ways to drop that one. And be run scored in second and third. Make it 5 1. Now here's Jim Jubert. Oh, strike one. It's got foul ball. Last line watches it go over the fence. Oh, two pitch. A swung on. Hit to the left side. Safe at first. Infield hit. For Jim Jubert. That loads the bases for T.J. Brunel. Ball ball. Uh, about uh, 25 years ago, we used to take a uh, young lady named T.J. DeCost. Just throw to the plate. Dragoon scores. And it's second and third. She'd never tell us what the TJ stood for, so we'd call her Tommy John. And she was content with that. So, TJ Brunel, I uh, don't know what the TJ stands for either, but uh, it could be Terry. Terry James, maybe. Who knows? Certainly not me. Here's Allen. Travis Allen pops up to Whalen. No advance. Two outs. 6-1 the score, Jim Brunel, the batter. He's going to try to get him out at first. Good attempt, except that the ball bounces way down here. And another run will score as Jubert hustles in. And Jim Brunel ends up at second base. Jesse was hoping to find uh, Brunel napping. Parade hits the first pitch to right center for the third out. 8 1 is the score. And we're going to the bottom of the seventh. And Atkinson Scrap Metal just might have three outs remaining in their 2009 season. Atkinson Scrap Metal will stand up the top of the order. Jeremy Bissonette at the plate. Team down by seven. It's the first pitch. Could be in the gap. No. Matt Seguin with a great diamond catch. Took an extra base hit away from Bissonette. One down. And that'll bring up David Imhoff. Imhoff hits it to left field. Dragoon is there. Two down. Who now? Jim Jennings has got to. Uh, Ignite a seven or eight run rally here with two outs. Remember? Since we got here midway through the game, our main event will be the game that's coming up, Big Earls versus Bluff Point, so stay tuned for that one. Yeah! Through the right side, this game is still alive. And he's in the second. Uh, Dan Boris. Nobody makes the last out, and the game keeps going. So one grabs it, and that's the ball game. An eight to one victory. The so Dragoons Farm Equipment will advance to the league semifinals at the B Division. And uh, I wish them the best of luck. Uh, at this point, it's certainly doubtful if we'll get any of those games, but you never know what the, the future holds. 
But in the meantime, that's the way it was in this ball game. And uh, stay tuned for the next one coming right up. Big Girls and Bluff Point. Game four of their series in A Division action. And that also could end with a Big Earls victory. Hey guys, one last year for 20